talking about. Just when I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! ah. Got it! Holy crap! All right, guys, how are you doing? Today I had really big plans. I was going to go vertical jigging for walleye on the lower Black River, only to come an hour to find out it's flooded and brown and very swift. So I had to change my plans. I'm just gonna fish this little hole right here. And then I'm gonna go over to the spring and fish for picker. I'll have nowhere else to go. It's a shame, all that time and effort I put into this trip. It didn't really rain here. It all had to come from up north and I just, so I just had no idea it happened. It's a shame when stuff takes a turn on you like that and you have no idea it's gonna be that way. Big shame. No idea. I may be able to catch a bass or two right here. And then some picker all out of the spring. Maybe. It's awful high and dingy though. They may not be able to see my lure. We're talking highly stained anyway. a little ways where it's blue. As you can see where that current's coming through in front of me, it's brown, but on the left side of it, it's completely blue. That big of a difference, guys. Got him. Mm. There were two of them sitting there. All right, first picker of the day. They are biting pretty good, dang good. It's overcast, 35 degrees, guys. I actually completely stopped my lure and let it fall on the bottom. I was twitching it to get him. Oh, I'm gonna have to definitely have pliers for this guy. <coughs> there was another one sitting right on the side of him too. spot here. Alright. Let's get him back in. A little snot rocket. He's about 13 inches. Not huge, but not tiny. <clears throat> and off she goes.
that's a good sign if they're biting like that on when the lures completely stopped and I and this water is gin clear and I actually tricked him into biting it by twitching it right there on the bottom that's very rare with these fish they're usually very weary more of a real weary bite like a pike There he is. Oh yeah. Nice one. This is a real nice one. I do believe. Yes, it is. Oh. Oh yeah. Man, look at that, guys. Just look at that beautiful fish. Oh, man. Wow. Oh yeah. Real nice picker on here. I gotta be a little careful with the 10 pound mono because they're teeth. Nice pickerel. Wow. <clears throat> All right, that's number two, guys. He's a little bigger. He's 18. <sighs> and he ruined. Pretty much ruin my swim bait. Big time. Yep. It's done. <coughs> oh, yeah. I'm about to try a new color that I have called Pink Bombshell of the Missile instead of this chartreuse. Just to see if it works. Now, that's a nice one. He's thin. He's a good 18 inches. All right. Hey. He put up a fight. And off she goes. <clears throat> All right, guys. We are going to try a new color called Pink Bombshell of the Missile Shockwave. I bought four packs of them. I never knew they existed until about a week ago, so I went ahead and ordered four packs. It's like purple at the top with a pink streak through the middle and then a silverish whitish clear at the bottom. Wow, I have a good feeling it will work. If it don't after a while, then I'll switch back to my normal chartreuse and white. He made a big rip in it, so it's done for. But I'm thinking it's gonna work, guys. I don't see why it wouldn't. Oh yeah, that'll most definitely work. Yeah, oh yeah, I just know it will. something on it in 20 minutes then I'll know something's wrong with it but I don't see why they wouldn't I'm gonna throw it real close to me and see what it looks like it's actually more natural looking than the chartreuse and white anyway especially for this clear water looks really good guys real perfect action you can see the pink and purple in the water it almost looks like a bleeding shiner wood from the 11 point river. All right. I can't see it as good to, is the one disadvantage. That white and chartreuse, I could tell when I'm getting too close to those weed patches and can tell when to twitch it. 
And I could also see the fish coming after my lure. This, I can't see it. In the deep water, I cannot see this thing. <clears throat> there he is. Two of them. Ooh, he got scared when I twitched it that time. There's two of them sitting right here in front of me. Got him. Oh, he got off. Man. Well, he attacked it on the fall. Mm. What a shame. All right, I see another one sitting there. There's one right there. <clears throat> there he is. Boy, they are on fire today, guys. My goodness. I haven't done this good here in a long time. Not this many fish in this short of a time span. Little guy, about 12, 13. My goodness, all right, the pink bombshell works. <coughs> he goes. <clears throat> really impressed. That's three or four fish in 20 minutes. Got him. Oh. Boy, there's a lot of fish around today. Unbelievable, man. Oh. Vertical jigging for pickerel. Never done it. It's working, though. This is funny. They want it, but they... They're not real aggressive. Oh. That's hilarious. There he, oh.
got him. Oh, yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes. My biggest one of the day, guys. Yes. And of course, that guy wanted to know what a pickerel was, and now he drove off. I knew as soon as he drove away, I'd get one. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. He's, he's definitely my biggest one of the day. I want to measure him, actually. Let's measure this guy. This is sight fishing at its finest, guys. If I didn't see the fish, I probably wouldn't catch most of them. I usually pick them out before I catch them and target them specifically by casting right to them. Oops, tape measure's not in there. It's right here. All right, let's get a measurement on this guy. He is 19 inches. Exactly 19. Made my trip worth it. At least I was only five miles away from the spot that backfired on me that was flooded. And I was able to come here and still do something and I ended up doing way better than I thought I would do. But after I fished about one minute I knew that I was gonna be on them. They were that aggressive. I will pick a overcast day over a sunny day any day of the week. I always outperform on these overcast days, guys. When it's cloudy the entire day, which I have a lot of them this week of that work, it, them days seem to outshine the regular day. as a secondary spot it would have failed me my dad would have had to go back home without a doubt 